so guys, I am so excited. I am on my way to get a PRP treatment. I've been wanting to do PRP for ages. So this video is dedicated to my PRP journey. A lot of you guys have been like, review PRP, like tell us what your experience is. So I'm with Premier Laser Clinic today and we're gonna be doing a PRP treatment. I'm excited to show you guys the journey that I'm gonna go on. I am off to Premier Laser Clinic. It's an award-winning clinic. They have over 14 years of experience and use FDA approved technology and a medical team. So I'm super excited to get my treatment done here. I find it so surreal talking like in public places. Like I get really embarrassed. I have to like put my phone away. So just to show you guys what my hair looks like today, 17th of October 2022. Uh, hello, my name is Andrea and I am a practitioner in Premier Laser Soho. Today we're gonna do a PRP treatment. This treatment does rejuvenate the hair, stimulate the hair skull. We have a lovely lady calling Iman and we're gonna do a PRP treatment for her. Yay! <laughs> Now I sterilize the arm. Relax your arm. Thank you very much. Perfect. Very good blood. Anything? <laughs> Perfect. We don't know. Very good blood. Very good blood. You, blood. Really you had a hit. <laughs> Amazing, so what does this do? So this one we're gonna prepare the plasma mm -hmm. to, to insert in the skull. What does it do in the machine? So we process the blood. So from the blood, that liquid will gonna be plasma. Mm -hmm. And from there, we're gonna see how much ingredients of plasma is, how much hydration has in um, her body. And also we can go ahead with the plasma to insert in the skull rejuvenate and stimulate the hair follicles to grow. So make sure you drink a lot of water, you hydrate yourself, mm -hmm. uh, people to collapse in the room because they don't have enough water in the body. You need to hydrate your, your body mm -hmm. with at least two liters of water and also to have breakfast or lunch before you attend to the treatment. Mm -hmm. So guys, really important is to make sure you're hydrated before your PRP treatment. That's what's gonna help you with your plasma when they inject it into your scalp. That good, good stuff. See how we love. Yeah, amazing. So all that yellow stuff is plasma, separated from the blood. So the reason why I'm putting that is to make sure, like, to mix blood with plasma. That's why I'm putting two needles. One to be for the air, the other one to be just for pure plasma. plasma. How many do you normally need to do the treatment? Uh, normally I need around two. So we're gonna take some before pictures. You need about three sessions to start seeing results. So if you guys watch this video and my next few videos, we're gonna see what happens with my hair. Putting antiseptic, making it nice and clean so that there's no infection. I'm getting rid of any bacteria that... I washed my hair before I came, is that... Should people wash their hair before? Yes, yes, because after two days they don't need to touch the hair. Ah, okay, so they can't, once you've got the treatment, you can't wash your hair for two days. Yeah! Is it gonna hurt or? Yes, you're gonna feel a bit pinchy, but other than that, if okay. you want, I'm gonna I'll be, be a big gentle girl. and I'm gonna uh, warn you when I'm gonna insert the needles, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect, okay. Scratch in. Scratch in. Mm. Very good. Scratch in. Mm. Your scalp is not very hard, it's very good. You can see some blood coming out, which is normal. Scratch in, very good. Breathe in and out. Scratch in. Doing very good. Scratch in. Perfect. Scratch in. Yes, very good. Scratch in. Scratch in. Scratch in, in, scratch in, scratch in, scratch in, scratch in. That's it, perfect. Okay, 
And can I go to the gym today or no? No, you can't. No? Okay. So now we're just massaging it all in just so it goes everywhere. So this is gonna basically make, yeah. make it go everywhere, yeah? To all the different areas of the hair. Not too so much. Mm -hmm. So we are done with the treatment. It took 45 minutes. So in terms of aftercare, anything that like I should know to like do or not do? Yeah. So basically after care we printed something for every single each client. Client has everything what to avoid it, when to wash the hair, what is the aftercare and also products which they can use on the scalp to don't make any harm to the skin or mm -hmm. to not have any reaction. And also if sometimes come a bit of blood, you just need to wipe with PP sterilized wipes and um, after that you need to make sure you don't use any shampoo which may harm to the scalp. Other than that should be fine and sometimes you can have a bit of headache or a bit of dizzy after this treatment but everything is normal. You need to hydrate your skin and to have some biotin which is some supplements which, which you can get for anywhere mm -hmm. and also you need to have a roller which can stimulate the scalp and you can do at least two three times a week um, for the scalp to stimulate more. So um, when can I start microneedling after the treatment? So you can start the dermal oil after like five days, I suggest five to do days. after one week. And um, sometimes it's not right or wrong, but it's better to let the scalp and because the pores are open and you mm -hmm. need to calm the skin down and after five days should be fine. Okay, cool. And you would you recommend doing it with the microdermal roller? Is the yes. results better? Yes, it does all better, yeah. yeah. Because it's stimulating more and put more pressure to the scalp. Okay, amazing. Thank you so much. No these are the aftercare yeah. pants guys hi guys so today is saturday i got the prp on monday and i just wanted to give you guys an update since then and also i asked you guys on instagram for any questions that you might have so i'm also going to answer those as well one thing i noticed which was quite interesting was that my hair didn't get greasy as quick as it normally does normally after the second day my hair gets greasy but i washed my hair on the day i got prp and when i washed it on the Thursday or Friday, can't remember which day now, was like not as greasy as it normally would be, which is quite interesting. So maybe uh, it helped to regulate the oil production in my hair. So that was really good. In terms of results within one session. So, I mean, it's hard to tell. It's only been a few days. Your hair needs about, you know, four to, four to six months before you can see results. But the typical number of sessions you need before you'll see results is around three sessions. Having said that, I do feel like my hair feels a bit thicker um, and more dense, but I don't know how much that is gonna be like real just because it was only done on Monday. So I was, one thing that I was surprised about is that they don't actually numb your scalp, but I guess that would be quite hard because you've got so much hair already there for people that are going in that has hair already. And in the beginning it was painful, I won't lie, like painful, but after a while you do get used to it. But the pain, depends on your pain threshold. I think my pain threshold is medium, so there you go. Right, so I've got your guys' questions here. Yeah, so first question, how many treatments did you get? I got one treatment so far. I'm looking to do at least three treatments. So make sure to subscribe so you can see my results after the third, the second and third treatment. Did you see any results after one session? No, but obviously it's only been a week and I do think you need about three sessions. So in terms of cost, I went with Premier Laser Clinic. Pricing is on screen now. I think they've got a deal at the moment. So if you are thinking about it, now's the best time to try it. Um, Another question, is it expensive? So PRP treatment is, in terms of other skin treatments or like cosmetic treatments, I think it's about in line as like normal treatments. But in terms of costs, it's gonna be more expensive than getting a facial, for example, which might cost like $100. This is gonna be a bit more than that. Um, does it hurt? Yes, it does hurt. The pain is bearable. I actually, she actually asked me if I wanted to have a break and I said, no, just wanted to get it over and done with. But again, it really does depend on your pain threshold. My pain threshold, as I mentioned, is medium. Is PRP used primarily to stop shedding or to stimulate hair growth? Are there different types? So there's only one type of PRP and that is the one that I did. There isn't a different type of PRP, if that makes sense. It's primarily to stimulate hair growth. In terms of the upkeep, so after I got the session, I couldn't wash my hair for 72 hours or 48 hours, I can't remember which one, because the pores were still open 
and you don't want to use a harsh chemical or anything bad on your scalp straight after PRP, you kind of want to leave it and not touch it as well as not touching it with your hands because you could spread bacteria and obviously the pores are still open, the wounds are still open. Other than that, you just want to make sure you are cleaning your pillowcases after PRP treatment, washing your hair on the day, making sure that you're not touching it. That's really all that you need to do to upkeep it. The other thing is to do microneedling in conjunction. So um, I'm going to wait a few more days before I start microneedling again. The combination of dermal rollering and PRP is going to boost the hair growth. So I'm really excited to see what happens. In terms of did I see results over the first session? So again, I'm not going to see results in a few days, but keep watching to find out. Did it cause shedding was another one? No, it didn't cause shedding. Yeah, I didn't experience any shedding and I don't think it's a very normal side effect either. The only side effect probably would be like dizziness or headaches. I didn't get any of those. It was absolutely fine. It was a little bit sore. Like when I put my head on the pillow, it was a little bit sore, but after a few days, it literally goes and it's absolutely fine now. Like it's not sore at all. Make sure to watch my How To Beat Hair Loss playlist and I'll see you guys in the next PRP session video. Bye. Thank you.